This is how to run measurements on Thrombodynamics Analyzer system, model T2T. Turn on the analyzer with the main switch on the back of the device. Turn on the computer and run the Thrombodynamics 4D software. Log in into the software with your credentials. We'll run the Thrombodynamics 4D PLS kit and the Thrombodynamics TDX kit simultaneously. Take the package with the activating insert and scan the QR code, if available, from its package using laptop camera or scan the bare code with a bare scanner, if available. Prepare the QVAT. Take off the thermostat cap. Withdraw the QVAT from the protection package and place it into the thermostat. Enter sample data for each channel. Sample code, measurement title and plasma type fields are necessary for filling. Select kit and test type, thrombodynamics or thrombodynamics 4D for each channel. Preparation of the reagent PLS. Reagent PLS is a lyophilized suspension of phospholipid vesicles. In order to reconstitute the reagent PLS, distilled water should be utilized. Reconstituted reagent PLS can be stored at plus 4 degrees Celsius during 14 days. Using a pipette with disposable tips, add 300 microliters of distilled water into the vial with the reagent PLS. Caution! Don't allow freezing of the liquid reagent PLS during storage. Shake gently. Dissolve the content of the vial during 5 minutes. The thrombodynamics and thrombodynamics 4D measurements can be performed on citrated fresh platelet-free plasma samples and citrated frozen platelet-free plasma samples. It is recommended that blood specimens for thrombodynamics measurements are collected by venipuncture using evacuated sodium citrate tubes. Do not choose glass or siliconized glass collection tubes. Draw second portion of blood to the tube with citrate anticoagulant in proportion blood to anticoagulant volume 9 to 1 and gently mix the collection tube by 3 to 6 complete inversions. Centrifuge the capped blood specimen tube at 1600 G for 15 minutes. When loading the centrifuge, take care that the tubes are evenly balanced. After the first spin step, the whole blood separates into three layers, a cell layer at the bottom, an intermediate layer that is known as the Buffy coat, and an upper layer is the plasma. Transfer the top three quarters of the plasma to a new tube using a pipette with disposable tips. To remove the plasma, start with the top and very gently draw the specimen up into pipette as you move the pipette for the down into the tube. Be careful not to disturb the buffy coat or cell layer. We are transferring the plasma into two tubes just to balance the samples during the second spin. Centrifuge the tube with plasma sample at 10,000 G for 5 minutes or at 1600 G for 20 minutes to get the platelet-free plasma sample. Transfer 90% of the specimen liquid volume from the upper PFP layer to a new tube, leaving the erythrocyte and platelet pellets if there are any at the bottom. Platelet-free plasma specimens should be used within 4 hours after blood collection. Take reagent tubes from TDX kit and PLS kit and place them into the preheated places on the thermostat.
take reagent 1 tube relating to channel 1, open it and place 120 microliters of PFP sample number 1 into it using pipette with single use tips. Close the tube and gently knock it with a finger several times to dissolve the dry substance inside the tube. Ensure that the dry substance has dissolved. Place the tube back to preheated place in the thermostat. Repeat previous step for sample number 2 using reagent 1 relating to channel 2. This channel is for the thrombodynamics 4D in our video. Reagent 1 of the PLS kit and 1 of the TDX kit differ in composition and for convenience they have different tube colors. Only if working with Thermodynamics 4D reagent PLS is needed. Add 5 microliters of the previously reconstituted reagent PLS to the tube with reagent 1 with plasma. Mix the content several times via pipetting. Place the tube back to the preheated place in the thermostat. Press the start button in the T2 software or at the analyzer front panel. The incubation process has started. The default incubation time is 3 minutes. When the incubation is over, the light ring starts to flash green. Transfer the contents of the reagent 1 tube relating to channel 1 into the reagent 2 tube relating to channel 1. Let us recall that we are running thrombodynamics assay in channel 1 to perform measurement of spatiotemporal dynamics of fibrin clot formation. Quickly mix the content several times via pipetting. Avoid forming. Immediately transfer 120 microliters of the resulting mixture into the channel 1 of the measurement cuvette. Repeat previous step for PLS sample using reagent 2 relating to channel 2. We are running in the channel 2 Thrombodynamics 4D, which allows monitoring of spatial dynamics of thrombin generation simultaneously with fibrin clot propagation registration. The reagent 2 contains lyophilized mix of calcium salt and additives. To avoid measurement artifacts, the reagent should be dissolved and mixed very well, and the recalcified sample should be immediately transferred into the channel of the measurement cuvette. Withdraw the activating insert from protection package and gently place it into the cuvette all the way in. Quickly close the cuvette compartment with the thermostat cap. Immediately press the start button in the T2 software or at the T2 analyzer front panel. The software starts countdown and shows the real-time photos of clot growth for each channel. Segments of the status light ring are turning red clockwise as the measurement progresses. After the measurement is finished, the results of the analysis will be calculated automatically. After the calculation is finished, switch to the Results tab to see the list of measurements and the results of their numerical analysis.